Bonjour, if you can see me, I think I'm live. Please comment. Bonjour, we'll get started. I've got some share and um, I've got some slides to share with you. On va commencer. Si je vois, oh, oh, on dirait que je l'ai fait quatre fois. Mm. Bon, est-ce que vous me voyez? Bonjour, bonjour. If you can see me, just pop yes, even if you're not going to be able to stay live, then I will know you are. And then if you want to come practice, I'll invite you into the group so you can um, join us. Voilà. I'm still not sure anyone can see me. I keep touching my face. It's impossible with this virus. It's not impossible. It's just really hard to keep my hands away from my face. I realize I touch my face a lot. Alors, alors, qui est là? I can't see any comments yet. Should I continue? Can you see me? Bonjour. Alors, alors, alors. Okay. This is going to be a really boring start if I don't get started and you just see me faffing with the text. So I'm just going to hope that you can see this. And if you're not here live, make sure you watch from the beginning. Alors, let me share my screen with you. Nous allons parler de la prononciation. Prononciation. Extra keys to sound like a French speaker. So we'll cover a few of these. This is part of a training um, that I have given and today's pronunciation day for some of my students. So we're working on this one. Voila, voila. Hopefully you can see my screen. We are going to talk about common letter combinations and we're going to practice saying them together. Okay, I see a few of you look like you're live. Jenny, bonjour. It's working. I think it's working. Bonjour. Merci, Jenny. The, there's obviously a delay between uh, the live and... Oh, there you go. Uh, don't need to hear myself twice. Très bien. Let's go. So this is a training for beginner learners for French pronunciation, but everybody can benefit from perfecting and improving their French pronunciation at any time. So if you've got really clear pronunciation, you will be able to understand more French too. It will feel less rushed when you hear someone speak. So it's really win-win when you work on your own pronunciation. So here are some of the tricky common letter combinations we see. The two letter ones, avec deux lettres. If you see C, U together, it's got to sound like a K sound. K. So you don't need to make two sounds to acknowledge that there's a C and a U. The two together make a k sound. We've got words like accueil, accueil, which means welcome or the front desk in a hotel. G-U, G-U, is pronounced like the g in go. Again, a very short sound for those two letters, g. You don't need to say g, which I, which I hear a lot as a longer sound, you see two letters and you're trying to make each of them count, you don't need to. One really short sound, k and g. So when you say a word like guerre, guerre, which means war, g, nice short sound, guerre. TH, I often joke that the H letter is the least favorite of French people, we just ignore it. So if you see a TH, think of it just as a T. Théâtre, théâtre. So T H E just T. It's got accent aigu, so make sure you say say that nice E sound. Théâtre. G and N. This one I hear it mispronounced quite a bit, even when it's not my beginner students. And the thing I found that works quite well is thinking of your knee or the ni in onion. It's a very short sound, ni, montagne, montagne. So I'm making a very light e at the end, but that g, n, I'm making the sound of ni. 
les montagnes, montagnes. Très bien. Three letter combinations. I've tried to group these so they're a bit longer. So these ones have trois lettres and they can be a mix of voyelle and consonne all together. So I-L-L makes the sound y, y from yes, y. Example, famille, famille. So it's a very light y sound. It's a little bit chopped. And because there's an E that we don't put any intonation on, think of it if you see an E at the end of a word with no accent on it, think of it as an apostrophe. We really don't give it any weight. We don't say famille. We say famille. Okay? We really pretend it's not there. Think of it as an apostrophe. Famille. If you see I -E -R, that combination, we need to make two sounds here. We're going to say E, and then we're going to say E. So ER you might be familiar with. It's a very common ending of lots of verbs, and we need to make that sound E. That is not, in the English language, you don't have to, it's a sound that usually takes a little bit of work. You can usually say E really easily. It's the E with the accent grave, but the E with the accent aigu is often confused with an E sound. So, E accent aigu, we're going to say E. So, when you say, when you see E, E, R, try and think of two sounds, E, 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 E. Lots of words you can practice. Here's one example, calendrier, calendrier. So, you can see that there's an R, you really hear that one, but this R you don't hear, brillé. Calendrier, calendar. Next vowel and consonant combination, O, I, N. Ouin, ouin. Two sounds, two distinct sounds. The letter O, most of the time it's going to be pronounced O, and then the I, N gets said separately. Un, un, ouin. So the example here is loin. Loin, which means far. Note that I've done some trainings on the nasal sounds separately, so I won't go into depth with this one, but the way I teach it, this one is the nasal sounds where your mouth is doing a bit of a forced smile. Un, loin. Then if you see T-I-O-N or S-S-I-O-N, deux S-I-O-N, combine the sound of I see with the nasal sound en, sion, sion, passion, nation. They should make exactly the same sound. Passion, nation. That sion should make the same sound regardless of how it's spelled here. Final letters. When do we pronounce them and when do we not? Alors, do, do, do. why is my mouse not working? Oh, mm, slight delay. I wish I had a singing voice so I could sing for you. Let's see if this works instead. Page down. Ah, now it's gone. All right. The general rule for final letters is to not pronounce the final letter, but that's a little bit too simple. So we've already seen one or two examples where I said there's an E, just don't pronounce it if there's no accent on it. There's a big difference between E, simple, and E, accent aigu, E, accent grave. En général, on ne dit rien. Rien du tout. Chut. But that's a bit of an oversimplification. So I've split it into further details. So final letter, if the word ends with E, do not sound it. If such as salade, voyage. Salade and voyage. Bonjour, I'm seeing a few more comments. Bonjour, merci, merci. Um, I will come and reply. But say bonjour in the comments. Tell me you can see me, hear me. And if you have any questions, of course. So final letter of the word E, do you sound it no? The sample words are salade, voyage. This last sound you should hear is the de and the je. Salade, voyage. If a word ends in a consonant, don't pronounce it either, such as ar, 
différent, d'accord, délicieux, table. And all the plurals you see with S's or X's, just don't say the final letter. When you see a word that ends in C, R, F, ou L, 90% of the time it is going to be pronounced. And I wish I could say 100%, but French, like English, is full of exceptions, as you probably know. So these ones, if you see C, R, F, or L, try and remember to say them. 90% of the time, they will be exceptions. Avec, sac, lac, which mean with, bag, lake, soir, par, pour, neuf, soif, Avril, il, mal. So I didn't translate all of them. Salad is a salad. Voyage is a trip. Art is art. Différent is the same. D'accord is all right. Okay, I agree. Délicieux, delicious. Table is just a plural of tables. With, bag and lake. Soir is your evening time. Par can be by, pour can be for, neuf is the number nine, soif is thirst, avril, april, il, he, mal, bad, badly, depends on the circumstances. Liaison, liaison, how do we link words together? So, oh, one last tip, let me go back. The letters, if it's hard for you to remember these random C, R, F, L, there's a really fun trick that you can find them all in the word careful. If you're careful with the final letter, then watch out for the C, R, F, L, because they're the consonants that spell the word careful. And they're the ones that you do say as opposed to all the others that you don't say. So that's a pretty neat trick. Trick, it's not mine. Um, it is something I picked up um, while I was teaching and some of the students know about it and it's really much easier to remember for random letters. Liaison. So, liaison is this beautiful concept that the French have totally adopted and we love that our language flows and lots of people who learn French comment on French being a beautiful flowing language. We want flow above everything else to the point that we make up rules just so that it flows. So when we have words that don't quite flow together, we add things to them. Linking words with la liaison. It is when we add a sound so that it sounds nicer. So if a word ends in a consonant, sound that consonant in the next liaison. So if you see these two words, c'est and un, you're going to take that t and pronounce it so that you can do a liaison. C'est un, c'est un. If you see the words un and enfant, a child, we're going to take that n and add it in. So you're pronouncing something extra because usually you just say un with no n. But when we want to do the liaison effect, we do un enfant. So we're saying c'est un, and then un enfant. So when we put it all together, it is a child, c'est un enfant. C'est un enfant. Linking words with the liaison is like this. Sometimes you just take the final letter. Sometimes you're going to make a different sound. So we have nous which has a silent S, but when we have a word afterward that starts with a vowel or a H, we're going to add a Z sound, nous avons. And this is usually when <laughs> it gets tricky because you're listening to someone saying, nous avons, blah, 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 blah. And you're thinking, well, I heard something with a Z where what words do I know that could have that letter in it, but there's actually nothing there. It's not a letter that you'll see or that you'll recognize when you think of we have, nous avons. But if you start saying nous avons like French people do, 
you'll start noticing it as an option when you hear French spoken. Nous avons. So watch out for some of these words. When they end in S, X, or Z, we're dragging them all with a Z sound. So les amoureux, the lovers. If you're at a map in Paris and there's that big red dot um, that tells you you are here, in French it will say vous êtes Ici. That's what you'll see. Vous êtes ici. You are here. In French, we'll pronounce it. Vous êtes ici. Vous êtes ici. And that's often when people start telling me, oh, French people speak so fast. And it, a lot of it is due to our liaison. Because all of a sudden, you're expecting lots of sounds to go with these three words. Vous êtes ici. But you're only hearing vous êtes ici very fast. So the quicker you can start pronouncing it like we do, the quicker you'll be able to pick it up. When a word ends with X, this is not the most uh, natural guess, but we also make a Z sound. So two years or two years old, deux ans, deux ans. I hope you're repeating along so you get lots of practice. Practice out loud. There's no point thinking about pronunciation rules because there's a big difference between how you think you'll say it and how you actually say it. So practice out loud and you'll be able to see some really good benefits. Words ending with D. This one is also not the most logical one, but when we have a word that ends with D and another word that starts with a vowel or a H, we're going to drag that sound across, make the liaison with a T sound. A big tree, un grand arbre. We're going to actually say un grand arbre. Un grand arbre. And the last one, I think, for today is an F. So when you, we see a word that ends in F and the next word starts with a H or a vowel, we're going to drag that sound across with the liaison sound of a V. Neuf heures become Never, never. Voila. I wanted to keep it nice, short and sweet and test if I could stream on the page. I, we do have a group. We're focusing the whole month of March, regardless of the crazy world events that are happening at the moment. We are still working on pronunciation. So we've done so far the sound air, nasal sounds, un, on, and un with lots of exercises and drills for you to practice. We've just done common letter combinations, final letters, when to pronounce them and not, and liaison, how to pronounce it and what to drag across as a sound. I will come back and do some more. I do want to um, go into more depth about what, when to do a liaison and when not to. We have some compulsory ones and we have some um, we have some compulsory liaison and we have some optional ones that we use. So I'll come back and do some more on liaison, but tell me below if you have anything about pronunciation in French that you want to me to focus on in particular. And I will see you in the next video. Au revoir tout le monde.